In this video series, I will show you how to install and configure the basic components of the VDI or virtual desktop infrastructure based on VMware solutions. In the first section, I will install the connection server as the primary components of the VMware Horizon View that acts as the main component of the VDI solution. So after install the server, you can integrate it with the vCenter server and create your desktop pool and deploy virtual application based on your corporation requirements and also you have many other options that I will talk about them. So let's install the first connection server. In this step, you have three options for deployment. Connection server, replica server, and enrollment server. You should know each replica server that will be deployed in your environment act as additional server for the primary VDI component or connection server to provide the redundancy and also increase the service availability. An enrollment server is a part of SSO or single sign-on configuration that I will speak about it in a separate video. You should know the connection server is also an LDAP server. So keep in mind, you cannot install the connection server in another servers that acts as the LDAP server, like Active Directory Domain Controller, because it cannot service both of the Active Directory and also connection server in a single Windows server because they need to work on LDAP and LDAP secure protocols. Also, each web server that has a website that works on port 18 cannot be a part of this deployment. As the final conclusion, I will strongly suggest to you dedicate a Unix server for the connection server installation. Just as you may know, in, in the previous version of the Horizon, you could deploy the security server that act as a edge component of this deployment and must be deployed on the DMZ network that is replaced with the access point appliance or unify access gateway. In the next part, I will show you how to configure the connection between the vCenter server and connection server to deploy virtual desktop pools in the form of virtual machines.